Hey guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. And in today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to show you guys how I got this dewy, glowy summer makeup look. Everyday makeup look. It's so pretty, so simple. And the products that I used were mainly affordable things. So... I was happy to create this. I love the way my skin is looking. And you're gonna see how I transform like my matte face into more of like a dewy face. So if you guys wanna see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. Okay, so the brows are done. I always go through that in a video. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump straight into the eyes. So I'm gonna go into my NARS concealer in the shade uh soft matte madeline well it's not called soft matte madeline but you know what i'm saying and i'm just gonna take a brush and apply that to the lid So I'm going to start prepping the skin. So I'm going to go into my Glossier Bubble Wrap, which is an eye and lip plumping cream. And I'm going to apply that right underneath the eyes. Next, I'm going to go into my Cetaphil Daily Moisturizer with SPF 15. And I'm going to apply that all over. And I'm going to go into my First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream and apply that as well. And then for my primer, I'm going to go ahead and go into the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. My favorite, as you can tell, I've dug my nail into it <laughs> multiple times. I'm also going to prep my lips just before like using any products and I like to go in with the Ulta Beauty Juice Infused Lip Oil and the one that I personally personally like is the jojoba and peach one it's just so good so today we're gonna start off with the eyes the eye look is quite simple today so i'm just gonna go into my urban decay naked ultimate basics palette which looks like this very pretty and i think i'm gonna go into the shade faith and then the shade lockout so these two and that's gonna go right into my crease and i'm gonna use this elf mini melt blush brush this is the blending one i like this a lot so i'm going to start with faith and i'm going to pack that on Now I'm going into the darker shade, which is Lockout, and I'm going right over. And that's it. I want something really nice and nude for the eyes for today's look because we're going for a very glowy look so i am going to be adding something onto the inner corner but just not yet next i'm gonna go into foundation so foundation i'm going to be using the ulta beauty velvet matte foundation it's full coverage um, I like this foundation. I really wanted to use something that was matte because I know that I want to be bringing like the dew back into the skin and I don't want to look too dewy because I feel like once you go too dewy, like you can't go back. But when it comes to matte, like you can kind of bring out the dew. So I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of it, just a little bit. And that's going on my JH03, I think, Morphe X Jaclyn Hill brush. And I'm going to buff that in. And like I said, we're not using too much product. I'm gonna take the excess and go on the forehead with that. Take just a little more for the forehead. I 
I'm now going to go into a damp beauty blender and just blend it out. Next, I'm going to go into my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Bisque, and I'm going to use that to highlight the skin. And I'm going to use that same beauty blender to just blend everything out. Now I'm going to take my Dermablend Loose Setting Powder and I'm just going to use that to kind of set under the eyes so that we prevent creasing or transfer of the makeup. This sponge is so good. It's from TJ Maxx and it's picking up powder really well. I don't know, some beauty blenders just don't, but this one is for some reason. I don't know. Next, I'm going to go into my Sephora Micro Smooth Setting Powder in the shade Tan. I'm going to take that on a big fluffy brush and apply that everywhere else that I had um, cream products. So. And I'm going to also use it to wipe away the setting powder so that we don't have too much of a cast underneath the eyes, but like a perfect blend of product. And the skin looks nice. It doesn't look too dewy or too matte, but it's just nice and flawless. But we're going to bring the dew into it, you'll see. So next, I'm going to go into my Beauty Bakery Neapolitan Bar, and I'm going to use the contour shade on the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and contour my face. I'm going to go ahead and spritz my face now with the Cover FX Dewy Setting Spray. You can use any setting spray, but I'd preferably choose the dewy one for this look. Next, I'm going to go into this Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Glow Highlighter in the shade Oyster. This is what it looks like. It's really pretty. And I'm going to go ahead and take that. I'm going to take it on this e.l.f. 204 brush. And I'm going to apply that to the inner corners of my eyes. That's pretty. <gasps> okay, I like this. That's such a pretty shade. Also going to use that same brush to kind of do the tip of my nose and then do the bridge. Like so. And then blend it with the Beauty Wonder. And on the Cupid's bow. Then I'm going to use this e.l.f. 105 brush and I'm going to use that to apply it onto the skin. And then I'm going to tap towards my temple like so to so blend in like so. And on the forehead and on the chin as well. See, now we brought like the dew back into the skin. We've highlighted the focal points of the face, even above the arch of the brow. And now we have a cute subtle glow.
I'm next going to go into a little bit of blush. I'm going to be using the ColourPop Juice Bar Powdered blush pressed powdered blush i love this shade i think it's so pretty i like to use this sonia kashik brush to apply it and i'm just gonna smile and apply that right on the apples on my cheeks i really like how this look came out okay I'm gonna go back in with that highlighter brush to just fix anything. Then I'm gonna take that Cover Effects Dewy Finish Shedding Spray again and spray it. And this just really helps keep the dew. Like, I don't know, even when I have a full matte face and I use um, a dewy setting spray, more specifically the Cover FX one, it just, I look dewy. And I'm like, but I did matte. It's just the best thing. So I'm going to go into this ColourPop lip liner. This is a brown shade. I don't think it exists for them anymore, but it is the shade Pitch. And I'm going to use that to line my lips. And then I'm going to go into the e.l.f. Camo Concealer, the shade Medium Sand. I like to just take a little bit and tap. I'm going to take the Stila Liquid, Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in shade Carmelo. Carmelo. Okay, and then to bring this dewy look together, I'm going to go ahead and go into the ColourPop Luxe Lip Gloss in the shade Electric. And put that on the center of my lips. Last but not least, I like to set one more time. I know, a lot of setting, but I like to set one more time so that I know everything is in place, okay? Including the lipstick, even though it's probably gonna come off because it's a gloss, but still. Oh my god, I literally forgot to put on mascara. Hello? I'm going into my Essence Lash Princess mascara. What's new? She's the best. I knew I was forgetting something. Anyways, now I'm finished with the look. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel for more. This is a really good look for especially people who like a matte look and love the products that they use but kind of want to bring in like a dewy look for the summer or don't want anything too heavy. I have to say this foundation can go heavy, but that's why I used a certain amount. Just use a little bit and it goes a long way and you'll be fine with applying the other products on your face. I promise you, look at me. I'm glowing, but I used, you know, mainly products that gear towards matte skin or more, a more of a matte finish. I love this Anastasia Liquid Glow. This is so gorgeous. Um, I know other brands have other versions of this, but this is the one that I had and I wanted to try. This was my first time trying and I absolutely love it for an inner corner highlight and a highlight on the skin. And Oyster is a really pretty shade if you're um, my complexion. If you're looking for one, it's Oyster and i will see you guys in the next one let me know what you guys think down below i'm actually kind of obsessed i love it it's simple and i'm ready to go be a dog mom now because that's that's on my duty list today i have to go be a dog mom my girl has to get her little shots i'm a little nervous for her pray for her but she's gonna be fine she's gonna, she gonna be good she's one now so she should be fine but i'm still nervous i'm a mom what can i what can i say but i'll see you guys in the next one bye Shouldn't be no holder, it's baller If I lost the motion, show up If you're down to roll up Meet me on the west side, follow me